When are we going to do something? NBA head coach Steve Kerr channeling the fury, the raw heartbreak of any American incensed that we keep letting children die in mass shootings. I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. Using his microphone to dismiss questions about basketball and plead with leaders in Washington to change our laws. Do you realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check? 90% of us, we are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. Matthew McConaughey writing a public letter to process this mass shooting in his hometown of Uvalde, asking Americans to consider what small sacrifices can we individually take today to preserve a healthier and safer nation, state, and neighborhood tomorrow. The actor, a sometimes rumored candidate for Texas governor, criticized for stopping short of offering a concrete action to take. In la in Texas. At the Vatican, the Pope is calling for stricter gun restrictions, saying it's time to say enough to the indiscriminate trafficking of weapons. Kim Kardashian using a lengthy Twitter thread to call for an assault weapons ban and an increase on the legal age to buy a gun. We are parents, we are mothers, we are begging and pleading for action, she said. Well-known leaders of the gun control movement, some of them survivors of school shootings themselves. We now have the most pro-gun reform president, at least on paper, and Congress in American history. And I do believe that this time can be different. All of them galvanizing fans who hang on their words to push those in power to make changes. David Hogg there at the end, a survivor of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Florida. And it, it is these folks with the platforms and the followings uh, to lend a voice to the heartbreak we all feel right now, Dell, and potentially to galvanize enough pressure on our elected leaders that they may actually finally change something. Yeah, and as we pointed out, Steve Kerr, the Warriors coach, losing his father to gun violence. Newsy's James Packard reporting tonight from L.A. James, thank you very much.